All right, tubes. We're over at Buddy John's house, and uh, I don't know if you guys uh, remember this uh, engine here. You had a, a, a crank, a, a cracked uh, crankshaft on it, and it's been uh, almost two years. This is a headless wit. I think it's a six six horsepower, and uh, we've been trying to get a, a crankshaft for it. There are flywheels to it. We've been trying to get a crankshaft for it for two years, and, and haven't been able to. And that's why you probably don't remember that engine, but uh, here's the here's the crank off of it. And if you look real close here, there's a crack in it, and it isn't worth fixing. But what happened is uh, we found a, a six horse witty that I seized on the internet, and uh, John bought it, and he just picked it up and brought it home. But it's uh, it's it's a lot bigger than this when the crank is bigger and everything. It could be cut down, but I think it might be better off to fix the other engine that we just picked up. It's in that much better shape. So let's go look at that. Alright, here's the one that John just picked up. And this one has a, a seized piston in there, but I think this engine is much better. It's bigger. I don't know if you can tell the size of it. You see the flywheels there? They're actually bigger than Mike. Mike's sitting down next to it. And uh, just took the, the mixer box off. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's actually. The cylinder's got about an inch of it. it smells like gasoline in there. And, yeah. and we just found this now. We just, you know, like I said, popped the inlet box off. And uh, yeah, somebody must have put gasoline down there at some point. So Probably. It's about an inch full of gasoline. I don't know how long the piston is, but there's you know, quite a bit of fuel in there. This is a headless wit, so it's not like you can get to the front of the piston and, and hit it with a block. Right. You know, all the all the stuff is on the side here, but yeah. it does have a plug here. I Maybe mean, we'll get something small in there. But uh, we're going to disconnect the flywheels. The flywheels are, are moving and stuff. Oh, look! But, there's a spark plug down there. How about that? In 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 the water hopper, in the bottom of the water hopper, there's a spark plug. We can get it out. Ha! <laughs> That's interesting. Wonder what the story is it behind that? Ah, somebody. somebody Somebody's been in there playing. Well, I. Somebody probably dropped it down there. And I don't think it doesn't look like a pipe thread spark plug, so it's not for this engine. It just looks like a small spark plug. <laughs> you don't know what you get when you buy this old shit, Mike. That's interesting. I almost got it. Huh. There it is. So I think we're going to try and fix this one up instead of uh, cutting down the crank. Oh, look at that, John. That was in look. the bottom of your water hopper. Uh, <laughs> look how pitted it is. Jeez. No threads left on it. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Nothing left. Wow. It's like a little lawnmower spark plug or something. Right. Interesting. A J, J12Y, something like that. Yeah. That's, that's not an old one either, J12Y. No, lawnmower. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we're going to take the nuts off of the uh, connecting rod there and try and hit that with a piece of wood and stuff. I think, I think we'll be able to un unseize this. We might have this running tonight. What do you think, Mike? <laughs> a little optimistic? A little bit. A little bit. I think we can get the piece of yeah. All right. We're going to continue working here. All right. We took the flywheels off here. Give us a little access, make it a little easier. And we got a couple of bottles of uh, map gas. Got a little baby one. And one over there. Uh, iced tea, soda? Uh, yeah, diet iced tea if you can. Diet iced tea. Yeah. Mike, soda or anything? Nothing? Nope. No, I got water. And uh, we were hitting the piston with this big piece of oak, but it's still still pretty uh, stubborn so uh, we're letting we got some juice on it we're gonna let it uh, soak in there a little bit then uh, give it another try yep let it cool back off to ambient temperature and uh, let her juice up and try her again heat it again well either heat it or we'll probably you know, hit on it a little bit more yeah all right all right we did just about everything we could still can't get the thing to budge so uh, What's our next plan, Mike? Mm -hmm. Make a plate for the side here. Yeah, this is your only access to the uh, combustion chamber here, so I think we're going to take a uh, piece of plate, like 3 eighths or half inch plate, and uh, go right right here. We we'll use these water galleries uh, for bolt holes. You know, put two bolts over here, two bolts over here, make a gasket, then thread it for a uh, either a grease fitting or of power, lay the engine on its side, fill it up with oil up to the surface here to get all the air out, put the plate on, and then uh, pressurize it. 
I'm a little concerned that we may burst the cylinder, but the wall thickness looks like it's about at least three eighths wall, uh, you know, inside the water jacket there, maybe even half inch. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be too concerned with putting maybe eh, like 100, 150 pounds worth of pressure in there. And if it's a, if, you know, it's a six inch diameter bore, so I don't really, my math is not that good, so I don't know what the surface area is of the piston crown, but, you know, you, we're going to easily get, I think, you know, a ton worth of, uh, you know, 2,000 pounds worth of force pushing that piston out. And even if it doesn't move the piston, at the very least, it will force uh, oil and whatever we put in there down around the piston mm -hmm. a bit. It'll help it soak. Know, leave it under pressure for a little while and, you know, we can depressurize it and then put a little bit more heat on it, you know, take the heat away and then repressurize it and just work it like that. Because yeah. I don't, you know, driving it in this direction, I think is, you know, we're just, you know, we're taking, you know, two steps backward and then only one yeah. forward. Because even if we go forward and get to budge forward, there's no guarantee that we're either going to plow into rust that's in the cylinder and do more damage, and then we still got to bring it back out eventually. Yeah. So. Yeah, beans it's a headless wit is uh, what's giving us the most trouble because a regular a regular engine you would be able to uh, come out the side here. What are you doing? Stepping on his uh, bell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you really have no way of uh, getting getting to the top of the piston here. So so that's where we're at. You know, I mean we were gonna take it in and try and push up against that piston with a with a press and everything, but then we'd have to get a pipe, a six inch pipe and everything and Put it over the sleeve here. Uh, we'll try. We'll try the other the other way first. But uh, we're even going to start a fire inside the cylinder here. Get some uh, charcoals and stuff, and let that get cherry red. But I don't know. We'll get it. It's just a matter of time. So. And John, he's limited to the tools he has here. He's uh, got a big garage, but he's, he, it's full of cars and antiques and stuff. So. We'll get it. It's that's just like something right there. That'll, that'll be good, John. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Enough of this. I'll, I'll make a new video when we uh, get the piston out. All right. Say goodbye, Mike. See ya. Say goodbye, John. Later. All right. See you guys. Look, we already got a piece of metal going on here. That's uh, three eighths. Three eighths metal. We make a plate. We're halfway there. Mm -hmm. All righty. Enough of this.